Aloha. Made it to Trenton and Brown. And it's been a while. We've been trying. Uh, crazy schedules, you know. Okay, so guys. Yeah, how are you enjoying and loving and experiencing your realities and your physical bodies being constantly realigned? It is interesting for sure. Um, there have been some, it's, the month has been interesting because we started out really powerful with a lot of intensity carrying over for the last couple months. This month has been much quieter, if you will, but it's not ever quiet. We, we're always got something going on. We've always got so much energetically. It, it never stops. It, it continues to increase and get more powerful, higher in frequency, all new frequencies that we, we've never had access to before. Um, how we experience is going to be determined basically by how much we exist energetically or how much we exist as a human. And the reason I say this is because the more human we are, the more physical everything is, the harder we have to work, the, the more we have to interact in, in physical realities, if you will, um, the more we have to stand in our power, the more we have to um, do, um, the more we have to physically move realities ourselves if you will. Uh, the more we embody light, uh, the more multidimensional we become, the more we expand our consciousness, the more it becomes a holographic experience. Um, we see, if you will, all the other dimensions. Um, we actually live and exist in all of those dimensions simultaneously, and, and the physical one is a response which means that we exist vibrationally. So the moment the vibrations change, we have to change with the vibrations. We have to go with the flow of the vibrations that are present at that time. Now, the more you become a universal being, the more you exist in unity consciousness, the more crystalline your structure is, the more energy is going to rule your world. For a while, this is challenging because um, you kind of don't, don't get a say <laughs> because the energy in your body takes over. Energy is constantly moving. Um, you get shut down. You have to go to sleep. You can't stay awake. You get groggy, foggy so that you can uh, remove more veils, move, um, merge more light into your physical body structure and upgrade and let your body do what it needs to do. It's going through a, a rigorous overhaul that occurs over lifetimes and years. So this whole, everything we've got, done this far has been a part of this. <clears throat> the physical body. I have so much to share on this, and there is just never enough time, <laughs> uh, energetically, because our moments are filled, they're full. We're, we're always busy with something. Uh, we don't waste energy, we don't waste time, we don't waste anything here. Um, everything is productive, and sometimes sleep is productive, and sometimes being really busy is. Um, the one thing that we do have to do is master being and master doing simultaneously and, and be and do all at the same time here. Airplane, helicopter, one of the tours on the island, I'm sure. Okay. Existence changes. You have to choose what you want in your reality. You have to choose what you don't. You have to do something about it. Um, beyond that, the more you can maintain your overall presence, your overall essence, and everything that you do and are, the more that you can hold these vibrations all of the time, the easier the physical world becomes. Now, will you be challenged? Yes, you will. Because 
you'll be the one that has to do something about it. It won't be on anybody else anymore. It's all going to be on you. Um, we step up. We take responsibility. We own it. Um, if we want something to occur, we move energy in that direction. We make it happen um, as the universe, not from a separated place as a human. It's very different here. You move in unison, in unity, with the entire universe, with the flow of all things as they need to occur. Now, you'll know what needs to be done. You get up and you do it. Sometimes it's rough. Sometimes you rather go back to bed. There are times you know you have to get up and do. You cannot just stay in the bed because when we start waking up and realizing that all the information we want is in our sleep, in the beginning it was, then we just want to stay in bed all day long. We never want to get out of bed again. Besides, we build a vortex there. So every time you put your body back in it, you raise your vibration really high, you're tuning really, really high again. Um, I learned over the years to work in that. And so um, when it gets really intense, I, I call it slow-mo. I have to work in slow-mo. I have to barely get through it. Um, there are times you just have to put it down, put it away, let it go. Don't worry about it. You, you can't do it when you finish the process, which may take you two, three days. Um, you'll be up, ready to rock and roll, but you will have jumped timelines, and you will have to get all of the distractions out of the way. You'll have to move through any... In the beginning, they looked like obstacles, but now they're basically... You know when you're moving through timelines really fast. Uh, I, I call it quantum hopping. And basically, when things start coming at you, you boom, boom, boom through them. You don't even think about them. You do them from inside. You move through them. You get it done. Because as the... Wow, there's a lot going on out there. As you move through all of those things, you are basically getting everything in alignment so that everything can synchronize at the same frequency. And as it does, then reality is automatically realigned. And they become easy, and everything slows back down, and you're right back in, in, in that slow, intentional space. And hmm. if you avoid, if you don't feel, then, then as timelines collapse, they unify. So as they unify, they collapse. And as they collapse, then all of the realities tend to squish all down in one space. And, and you'll feel like too much is coming at you. You'll feel like you're losing control. You'll feel like um, um, it'll be overwhelming unless you're on top of it. So pay attention because usually it'll start when you wake up. Usually it'll start, you'll wake up and you'll feel you got to start moving or the universe will be throwing things at you from left and right. And if it's throwing things at you, it's basically telling you deal with it, get through it, hurry up, move, move through it, let's go. You got some awesome things that need to come, and these are in the way. Um, we don't worry about the details. We, we, we do what needs to be done. All right, so enough of that. Let's see what else can we talk about. There is just so much physical body. So for years, we focused on the heart. We opened the heart. And then when we started moving into unity consciousness, we moved into our head. And we had to unify the mind and the heart as one. Expand um, our consciousness and be able to maintain that expanded consciousness in the unified field um, and learn how to function a completely different way. Well, when, when this part of the phase, the last year and a half, which has now come to a culmination point, if you will, this part of my own embodiment process, um, it, it's we've moved out of the head and the heart, if you will. They've synchronized. We've been going through this last year or so um, the spine, the spine, the spine. In the beginning, the spine emitted plasma energy, which was a bit bizarre, um, especially when the teeth started um, doing weird things and the crystals in the teeth and, and the plasma energy in our body, and, and it, it gets a bit bizarre. Um, but as we observe our body and the transformation that it's going through, and 
now what I've noticed, the biggest thing, and I'll write more about this, but a lot of people go through adrenals and go through the, the um, nervous system, and all of that is a part of this process, but it's a continual fine-tuning, fine-tuning, fine-tuning. Um, and, and I notice that my emotions, I don't feel them in, in my chest anymore. I don't feel them around my heart. I haven't for years um, because you only feel in, in your human heart when you have a human something get triggered that's got to go. The rest of the time you feel it with your whole being. And, and so the feeling of, in, in the heart, and at first it moves from the human heart to the higher heart to the divine masculine and then the whole, the whole chest area wall and then all that opens up and merges with all your chakras and, and everything collapses and unifies and becomes one. Um, and your whole body system um, starts to work together and the physical body wakes up. It becomes completely alive. You feel every everything. Um, then you don't feel anything at all. Then you feel everything. It's kind of everything gets stimulated w with these higher frequencies. Um, but I'm noticing now um, for a while it was all in the, the heart area for years. And then we moved to the head area and everything was the head. And there's a lot of floating that goes on, gravity goes, um, wobbly, um, as you're basically um, expanding into the other dimensions. And when you contract back down, the gravity will shift. A, a lot of times you'll feel density in the lower half of your body um, come back in when you're being weighted right before we get ready to, to expand again. So there are a lot of physical things that occur that are, that are weird, that are normal for us. Um, the, the most weird normal now is that my spine, um, if I have an emotional reaction to anything, it now um, ejects out my spine. Um, the, the spine will take all of that energy instantly and start ejecting it from, from the back of my body. And last December, I remember having to sleep on my stomach a lot while my spine um, went through a lot of upgrades. And um, for, for years, the spine went through a lot of pain. And then the spine, uh, crystalline DNA activated in the base of my spine years ago. Um, so all of this has been like in a continual um, genetic recoding, um, soul templates and diamond light code templates and everything being um, embedded in the body. So for years we went through density, removing density, clearing density, um, and then we clear that density, if you will, and then all the, there's all this space in the body and the cells move and, and they never stop. And the whole body is cellular movement all of the time and every cell it is communicating. Um, now it's the spine is like the, and it has been this way. It is just more, um, more. That's the best word I got. Um, the spine has been about a year and a half ago when I started the restructuring phase, my body started going through restructuring itself. Um, I went through the deconstruction phase. Um, and, and then you, you go through all these phases, if you will. Um, when I hit the, de the, the restructuring phase and then creating the foundation um, to hold all of these realities in place um, and be a, a foundation, if you will, a, a grid keeper, in, uh, one of the points, anchor points. Uh, for New Earth, then the spine became the center, commu the communication center for the body, and so everything goes through the spine. Um, so it's it's very different because um, if I have an emotional response to anything, I now have it in my spine, <laughs> which is kind of weird. My body will eject the emotion, and then I'll immediately my brain will blow out um, because. Um, of the way the body functions now. And so I'll be exhausted, but it's coming out my spine and it shorts off the body. And so it's really important to pay attention and, and honor your body no matter what phase you're in and how your body is functioning and honor the process that your body needs to go through in order to bring you into these higher dimensional frequencies in order to function and exist in. You're, you will go through a complete... Um, DNA rewriting, you will go through complete recoding, 
you will go through being restored back to, um, at the time I called it Adam Cadman's template, uh, the original template, um, to be returned to purity. Um, this is where we don't compromise anything mm, anymore uh, on a whole new level. We, we don't commingle, if you will, energies and, and realities um, because you actually will feel it in a different way. Your body's consciousness, your whole body's conscious, and, and everything's alive and awake and communicating and talking, and it's cool because you can watch your physical body communicate and your field communicate, and they're all doing this. You can watch the codes and the sequences and everything. Now it's no longer releasing of density. Um, now it's embedding all these codes into the bones, into the teeth. So, so the whole process has reversed once you get to a certain point. Um, it took about what, a year and a half after being restored to original template for me to get to this point of the re-encoding uh, with, with these new codes and sequences. And, and it can get quite intense. Um, the, these are going deep into our structures, into our bones, into our muscles, into our teeth, into our skull. Um, and, and completely changing our genetic makeup. It's really the, the best way I got to explain it right now. It's easier for me to write it out because it's easier for me to find the words or to answer the question sometimes other than to just come up with, for, with it while I'm talking to you guys. All right, so, oops, got stuff to do. All right, um, a lot of people really trying to get out there. A lot of people, um, a lot of souls, um, now stepping into their power. Um, this is going to be an interesting process for many because uh, of how you have to function, how you have to um, do things. It is very different than the old days. This is where everybody's got to step up and support. This is where everybody's got to get off of their, this is all mine, and start to contribute. Um, I watch, I observe those who share, those who hold back, those who have judgment those who are open, those who support. It's very interesting to see um, what people will support and what they won't uh, and how much judgment they have. Um, it's very interesting. And, and the cool part is that we just go leave everybody behind, sitting in their judgment, sitting in their lack, sitting in it all because they don't want to hear it yet. They, they apparently haven't had enough experiences in order to teach them, show them, Give them the the experience, the knowledge uh, that they need um, in order to open up and, and share and support and contribute fully. And so when people ask, why did this happen? Then it always will be because we weren't open. We weren't already stepping up. We weren't already doing it. And so for me, I do it. Um, um, those who are stepping into the roles as way showers, you step up and you do it. Um, and and you have to get it done. So um, everybody out there is a way shower. You will have to do this when it comes to be your time, and most of you will know. Now you're going to be surprised because you will start finding that you only receive a percentage of what you put in. And so you'll work, 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 and nothing will come in. And you'll be like, well, but wait a minute. One is where you come from. If you're coming from a certain place, then you're not going to receive anything in response to that. You have to do it because um, you have to do it from love. You have to do it from unity. You have to do it from that, that place inside of you that's sacred and, and is all in. Not from the place if you want something or it's for you. Because when you start doing this, then, then you don't get to receive anything from that. So it's important to understand where you're coming from and why you're doing things. Because everybody's got to move beyond the I did that because I wanted something. It doesn't work here. Um, you have to do it because it's a part of why you're here. You have to do it because your inner guide, your higher self, you, whatever you want to call it, your universe, told you to, if you will, which is just another aspect of you. Um, let's see what else we got. We've got all kinds of stuff going on. Um, we talked about body, emotions, emotions for people running high, it's going to continue because all of that separation has got to go, all that anger, all that hate, all that I was wronged, all that I'm a victim, all that I don't have any power and they got all the power, so you step up and take your power back so you, until you pull out of that and stop playing in that, then, then you're going to keep 
doing that uh, until something occurs or, or you figure it out. Um, that's how this works. Um, whatever it takes and to get you conscious, whatever it takes to get your heart open, whatever it takes to get you fully on board, whatever it takes, that's what occurs. So, I, a lot of people embracing and taking their gifts and, and, and for me, I've been working and focusing on those who are ready to anchor their dreams, anchor um, the amazingness and keep it um, going and, and flourishing and, and thriving and, and expanding and doing amazing things. Um, so, let's see. Well, um, I am seeing um, so many things occurring. A lot of people pulling away, finally starting to focus on themselves and realize what all of this is. A lot of people waking up, souls. I say people, but basically souls. Um, you, you have human aspects and you have soul aspects, higher self aspects, um, spirit. Spirit, higher self, soul, universe, all the same thing, different aspects of those. All of those make up the oversoul, if you will. And so you, you become all of those things. Um... It's important for each to realize what's important and to commit fully to that. Um, when you do, you start quantum jumping, you start making huge strides, you start collapsing timelines. Um, you get to do this yourself. You don't have to wait for portals to open. You open them yourself. You, you get to do all of this. It's really cool. Um, so, I know I didn't talk about much, but, oh well. Let's see what I can come up with next time. Today, I want to say hi to everybody. I haven't talked to you guys in a while. I've been busy. We got the new light team, uh, team members who are on board and working, um, diligently as well. We've got a lot of stuff coming. We're doing a lot of overhauls, implementing new things. So, you'll see all of us, uh, doing a lot. Um, it never stops, and um, if you guys want to come join us, then come join us. Uh, we have a blast. Um, we don't. Huge. And we support each other as we do. So, I love you guys. Come see us um, at awakeningtoremembering.com. Um, we'll be seeing you. There's a whole lot going on. Mahalo.